I just love what God made in making those animals. We use mules because they're easier to transport supplies to different places. And life-saving help to people in need. It's not unique in the world, it's getting rarer and rarer. For a mule, a mule can go a lot more places than a truck can. Most rangers have no experience with mules, but every team has to learn how to pack a mule, load a mule, and lead a mule, and take care of the animal. Animals are very important to FBR, and in a spiritual way, like when Todd Pierce came, he taught us a lot about training a horse. Wild mule that Todd was training finally realized that Todd wasn't out to hurt it, that he cared about it. They started to trust Todd, and they could work together. But in the end, you have to trust, and God has earned that trust from us by creating us, by teaching us, by loving us, by sending His Son to die for us. So we get all the mules' names, and one of them is named Chocolate. Well, our first mule was named Spike, big, strong mule. Another one is named Trigger. We love all of them. They all have different personalities. And some of them, some of the horses my kids have been riding since they were tiny. Freedom, Pamela, and Gertrude, and another mule whose name is Violet. Well, we helped another one of our mules named Buttercup. We tried to take care of her. We made a tarp that for her and made a fire out in an open field. We've had about between 50 and 60 horses and mules over the course of the last six years uh, moving supplies. And some have died of sickness, some have been shot, some have been gored by buffalo. And we've had a series of them. We love all of them. Well, Stephanie was a beautiful young lady from England who volunteered to help refugees from Karini State, Burma. And she worked on the Thai Burma border near my Hong Song helping refugees. And while she was out here serving, she died in a motorcycle accident, which was a big tragedy. She was our friend. She was the friend of the Karini, and her family had a huge loss. When they heard about our need for meals, they said, we'd like to get you a meal to serve your people, just like Stephanie did. Could you name her Stephanie? So we just prayed like we do all the time. Which one do we name what? We named the next one Stephanie. And Stephanie the mule turned to be out like her namesake. Faithful, loyal, friendly, easy to work with, always giving, and really strong. We were at our training camp, and it started back at a place called Pelader where we link up with our mules. And she was there, and they said she couldn't carry loads, so we knew she was a little bit sick. And then by the time we had gotten to Dawa camp, she was pretty sick. She just kind of got worse and worse. I was giving her um, injections of antibiotics three times a day at that point, giving her special food. So they wanted to move her across the creek to where there's a better pasture, which is sensible. But she was too sick to move. And finally, we were gonna take her over to another side of the river. But the river was kind of big, so they had to sometimes swim across it. And so, and the trail was really rough. rough. They tried to move her from that collapsed position. She just rolled down the hill worse. So when I got back down there, we had to put a rope on her, secure so she wouldn't go all the way down off a little cliff, and then hack a trail. The Karen hack a new trail out of the jungle from right where she fell, all the way back, intersecting the lower part of the main trail. About 30 more rangers made a little trail and carried her, and they put to the other side where she was supposed to be. And they put IVs in her, IVs in her, and we gave her a little bit of food and a, a lot and a lot of water. And she slowly, we think, got a little bit better. She was standing up that night. The day after that, she died. The, the loss of Stephanie is a great loss for our kids. And that they grew up with Stephanie since they were little babies. And they loved her and rode her and trained her and watched her take sick people and move supplies and carry them and never give up and do more than any other animal and follow them around. They loved Stephanie. Stephanie also loved them. I feel, we feel a loss, or at least I do. She was just a really sweet mule. It's the coolest thing to me to see a train of relief going and then pack animals and pack mules and then kids on horses. It means beauty. It means teamwork between animals and people. It means a wild country 
that you're pioneering and venturing through. It means the ability to help people beyond what we could without these animals. And it's fun. It's fun. And when they break out in the big open rice field, they're all galloping and charging across, and the kids are riding the monkeys, and meals are going crazy. It's, it's fun.